fit. I'm done with this hero stuff. But we just got started. Can't you hear it? The Crimson Moon is calling me. Crimson Moon? I haven't seen any moon. That's because the outlaws keep it secret. What? They don't have secret moons where you come from? Uh, no. You sure about that? I'm receiving a transmission from an outlaw frequency. Welcome, one and all, to the match of the century. Crimson Moon's got it all! Racing, brawling, I can taste it already. What are we waiting for? Watch it. You're getting into Crimson Moon territory. So this moon just... appeared. Usually the Outlaws got it cloaked, but once every 15 years, they appear to host the one and only Outlaw Games. A lot of bad blood there. Might be trouble. Perhaps the Outlaws would allow us to finally study the moon's ancient Wardish ruins. I wouldn't bet on it. I've arrived on the Crimson Moon. You're almost at Fortune's Rest. This guy's bad news. Watch your back. Starlink database updated. Welcome to the Crimson Moon. My name is Fortune. I run this world and everything and everyone in it. Now we have races, arenas, and if those aren't to your liking, then feel free to get off my world. Have fun. How many times do I have to... No expedition on the Crimson Moon! <sighs> Metal little cranes. Although, if you really want to explore, then maybe you can do something for me. Our reappearance in Atlas triggered some nonsense at a Warden Ruin. I sent the Overlords to look into it, but frankly, they're more brawn than brains. Help them, and you can explore to your heart's delight. Until I say otherwise. Considering how much trouble these outlaws go to to keep their planet hidden, he seemed awfully eager to let us wander around. I'm not certain we should be helping them with anything. Oh, come on, Carl. Isn't it worth a little risk if it means getting to explore the Cradle? The Cradle? The site of the Warden's first arrival in all of Atlas? Well, maybe just a quick peek. For science. That's the spirit. If our archives are right, the Cradle should be somewhere near the coordinates that Outlaw Boss sent us. This thing is impossible. If Fortune wants it figured out, he can do it himself. Let's go find something we can blow up. No sign of any outlaws. I wonder what was causing them so much trouble. Those designs appear to be a mechanism of some kind. But for what purpose, I wonder? There's a really easy way to find out. Let's just turn it on. Without knowing what it does? Well, that seems... Uh, risky. I'm sure it'll be fine. Probably. High concentrations of electro energy detected. Analyzing. Intriguing. The device appears to have triggered a new scanning protocol in Sage. What is this electro energy? I don't know. But whatever it is, it seems to be concentrated into some kind of energy rift. Perhaps if we decipher its resonant frequency, it'll clear things up a little. Energy fields appear to have preserved some elements of past events. Remarkable. Electrical analysis disrupted. Localized interference is preventing reconstruction. Wait, so Sage can reconstruct past events using this electrical energy? That's amazing! But something is distorting it. We need to locate the source. Indeed. Deciphering the obstruction should do the trick. Up. 
This is incredible. It looks like the cradle really was the staging area for the Warden's expansion throughout Atlas. Let's keep clearing the interference. The image is improving. I believe we're close. This looks like a lot of Warden activity. No wonder they called this place the Forge of Atlas. Let's just clear up this last bit of interference. Spires had their birth here. And look, that concentration of particles can only have been the anvil. The anvil? The archive says the anvil was the warden's greatest technological achievement. But no one knows what its purpose was, or what became of it when they left. Scanning protocol recalibrated. Spark detected. Marking coordinates. Another one? Perhaps exploring these sparks will finally tell us what became of the wardens. And if they plan to ever return. Carl, this is big. We should investigate this other spark as soon as we can. Starlink database updated. Electron rift detected. Look, another rift. If we decipher it, perhaps Sage will be able to reconstruct another spark. Construction failed. Eliminate interference sources. Huh. If we want the full picture, it looks like we'll need to try our deciphering trick on those disruptions again. Something is still causing distortion. That's definitely working. One more ought to do it. Interference resolved. Spark reconstructed. This is amazing. If I'm reading this right, we're looking at the first spire ever installed in the system. I recognize the design. This is one of their planetary anchors, meant to lock the world into its artificial orbit. Remarkable. And terrible. This was the beginning of the Warden's interference with Atlas. And we know how it ended. Kareed's oceans wiped out, Vilas plagued, Sonatus gone silent. I wonder if they even noticed. But if the spire merely anchored Sonatus, I wonder what drew the planet into position in the first place. A good question. I'd be willing to bet that energy stream had something to do with it. I have detected another electoral rift. Locating. Oh good! Maybe we'll find more answers there. Let's check it out as soon as we can. Electoral energy spike detected. Approaching rift. Great! Let's decipher it and see what story it has to tell. Spark reconstruction disrupted. More interference. Uh, no matter. Deciphering the sources should clear it up in no time. Job done. A couple more should do it. Yep, that's looking much better. One more to go. Electrum shipment just came in from our prospector friends. Interstellar, that did the trick. And look, do you see that vein of Electrum? That's far too large to have been a natural occurrence. It looks to me like the Wardens were hyper-accelerating Electrum growth within the system. But 
what would have the power to do such a thing? The same kind of device that could draw distant planets into an artificial system without destroying them? If a device of such power did exist, it must have been well guarded indeed. Or well hidden. New spark location identified. Designating now. It would appear our trail continues. I, for one, would like to see what we might discover next. Approaching spark. Another rift. We should decipher it. source should do it. they created seems to have attracted an enemy even they could not withstand. And look, the same entity that seized control of the Cyclops appears to be trying to follow the particle stream to its source. The device of such power in the hands of a foe. The threat must have been truly existential. Electral particle streams converge at a point in space, marking coordinates. Confess, Fern. I was hesitant to engage in this excursion of yours, but it's been quite invigorating. I'm delighted you talked me into it. Ah, me too, Carl. We might make an adventurer out of you yet. I just wish we found something a little more substantial. Well, our journey isn't over yet. <laughs> My stars. I believe... I believe that's the anvil itself. I think you're right, Carl. It must have been cloaked by the same device that hides the Crimson Moon. Looks dormant to me. Surely we can find a way to reactivate it. Not that we would ever do that. We should destroy it, to make sure it can never harm Atlas again. Destroy it? Nonsense! Think of what we could learn, the power we might be able to harness. Carl, this might be the thing that broke the world of Atlas. But not necessarily. It's entirely possible the problems came from turning it off. Take a breather, buddy. You know we can't risk letting this thing power up again. We have to destroy it. And deprive ourselves of the greatest technological gift we've ever seen? You aren't thinking clearly, Fern. Starlink database updated. is gone! What was that thing? It almost looked like the Equinox, but it couldn't be, could it? It, it looked like the Equinox, but it couldn't have been our Equinox. I don't, uh, I can't, I, I, I mean, uh, I have no idea what just happened. What just happened? Could it have been a, a rift? A fissure in space-time that allowed an alternate Equinox to somehow come to Atlas? Or maybe... No. Fern, I think you may have been right. I think I've made a grave mistake. We should have destroyed the anvil while we had the chance! I fear now that we've released something upon Atlas. If that was the Equinox, or a version of it, why would we take the anvil? 
steal the anvil from ourselves. I don't... I don't understand. I should have listened to you. I'm... well, I'm sorry, Fern. There's nothing we can do about that now. If that thing comes back, whatever it was, we'll just have to find a way to be ready for it. <laughs> 